Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive. When Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have them. And we're playing Madden 20, the Dolphamite Saga. Dude, the saga of our mighty Dolphs. Yeah, man. We, we did it. are here again. Let's yeah. go. Who are we playing, Jones? The freaking pay. I so forgot we played, about Tom dude, Brady. We nice played the guy. Browns, then the 49ers, and the Patriots. Probably my three favorite teams in the NFL. If I had like three favorite teams. Oh, yeah? I didn't know you were a Niners boy. I, I mean, used to like them back in the day with like uh, Joe Montana. Montana. Yeah, so I mean, like, Jerry I, Rice. I don't really like. I wouldn't say I'm like a fan fan, but like I have a special place in my heart for the 49ers because I used to like them as yeah. a kid. I had all sorts of Joe Montana and Jerry Rice stuff. That was a special dynasty, I have to admit. I even remember that. I used to watch a little bit when I was um, alive then. They were so freaking good. Like it was like just watching like really good players play together. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the the Cowboys of old, too. Yeah, like that year and like in those Patriots from like the early 2000s, no, too. No, were... Jonas, we're not talking about the Patriots. Get out of here. F them, all What right? are we talking about this episode, We then? can talk about anything you want to talk about, Jonas. That was but... a segue that you missed. I didn't what miss it. What are we it. talking about, I then? didn't miss the I segue. I told you to get a word. I'm ready with a word. Why are you trying to force I, it out of me? I said, what are we going to talk about, then? And you said, whatever you, you want to talk about. And then I was going to keep going, and you interrupted me. Uh, oh, but oh, I'm going to decide. Are we talking about that now? No, like, no, we're not talking about it. We can aggressively. <laughs> you can talk about you interrupting me if you want. <laughs> talk about it. No, it's cool. Um, Jonas, what is your favorite childhood cartoon show? Boom, Jonas. This is one going Joe. for an hour. You are wrong, sir. That was my absolute favorite. Well, I had tons of G.I. Joe's. You are wrong. I was a G.I. Joe boy. <laughs> really? So you know them all by name? I know a lot of their names. Destro. Destro. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to name off G.I. Joe characters until one of us. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You're going to win. Uh, all right. All right, Destro. Uh, Sartan. Uh, Cobra Commander. Baroness. Duke. Flint. Snake Eyes. Lady Jane. Snowblind. Snowblind. Sewer Rat. Snake Eyes. Jinx. Snake Eyes. That's it? That's all you got? Okay. All right, you win. Drake's injured because of you. Look what you did. What? Oh, my. Look what you did. Okay, anyways, what's our topic? <laughs> Three yards on that last kick. So Ninja good, You know what, honestly, you know what's uh, on, like, one of my favorite. I was huge in them, too. One of my absolute favorite was Gargoyle. Oh, I liked, I watched it, but I was never, I didn't have any yeah. Gargoyles toys. It was, I, yeah, because they didn't really make yeah, a bunch true, of them yes, that were really any good. Um, Gargoyles, for me, it had drama. It had, like, bestiality. It had. <laughs> I'm glad that's something you're looking for. I mean, it was kind of like, he was a mythical beast. <laughs> <laughs> he was a gargoyle. Oh, like, oh, oh. And the lady cop, you like, You gotta watch a... when you're saying bestiality. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> if they've seen gargoyles, they know what I'm talking about. He was a mythical beast. He was sentient. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> 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 with each other right to understand all right anyway all right fine but it, it had it had a lot it had betrayal it had like even yeah. even the gargoyles they lived with their enemy in that show and it was just it was amazing for me man. yeah it had time travel it had magic yeah i mean i guess it did it had a lot of stuff yeah, you, you you never really watched it that's fine I did Tell, watch what it. did gi joe have then fine we'll talk about your show what gi joe with gargoyles dude, dude. No, let's talk you about G.I. Joe. You know what I love about G.I. Joe looking back? Yeah, Is that, that when they shot, when well, they all had guns, Yeah. but no matter what the gun looked like, it shot red and blue beams, so they were essentially <laughs> laser guns. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody ever hit anything. And, and, well, and no one like ever like was like, we're shooting you with a laser. It was just they were shooting with guns. Yeah. But that way you could just tell there was like some serious dish going down. They were just like, pew, 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 pew. Yeah, but nobody ever got hit, Jonas. And when somebody did, it was just, ah, and they'd like fall off a skyscraper, and then they'd live. <laughs> you can shoot them with a beam. Oh, they just fall off their mount or something. Yeah, dude, I get it. Yeah. G.I. Joe was also the show that 
created and knowing is half the battle. Oh, yeah, dude. It has, I mean, that's like a staple. Everyone, dude, even like millennials, you can be like, and knowing is half the battle. And they know, they may not know it's from G.I. Joe, yeah. but they know the They phrase. know it's a meme. Yeah. Essentially. Uh, yeah, exactly. They don't do that with, with TV shows anymore, trying to like teach you a healthy lesson at the yeah, end. Yeah, remember they used to have the PSAs, dude? And it would be like, the more you know. And it would be like, There'd be like a down power line, and there'd be like two kids, and one would be like, "Oh, Jimmy, look at that! It's down power. We should get it off the road." And all of a sudden, like a GI Joe walks up, and he's like, "Hey, boys, I'm Guy, and don't you do that." Hey, I said a new guy. I remember. There wasn't a guy named Guy. That was made up. There wasn't. Uh, yeah, oh my God. Anyway, I'm thinking Street Fighter. Sorry, yeah, dude, go. That was, yeah, there, no, that was Final Fight. It was, oh, he was in both. He, it was Cody Hagar, and then they had Guy. Yeah, no, they imported Guy over two Street. Fighter. Oh, that's right, they did. Yeah, he yeah, had dude. the red on. Uh, but yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't try to teach the kids anymore in these no, shows, dude, man. It's all like hussies and. Yeah, dude, I've seen Adventure Time. They ain't teaching me nothing. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, these, and it'd be like G.I. Joe. One episode, like Cobra was having like a telethon. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, that's weird, man. What is the cartoon? Can you think? I should ask, can you think? Can you think of the like the last cartoon that you follow where you were like, you know what? I'm too old for this. Uh, I haven't. I don't like. Okay. I stopped watching cart Like, you mean for, as a child, like, as an adult. I'm <laughs> Because people watch South Park and Family oh, Guy. Oh yeah, yeah. So but you don't even watch those anymore. No. So yeah, we'll include those. I, well, I, uh, That'll bring okay. us a little bit more. So I don't remember what the last cartoon I watched, like as like a child, was when I finally was like, oh, it's too much. Yeah. Um, but I remember like when South Park came out, like the first season of South Park, I watched it. I thought it was funny. The movie came out, I watched that. But then I have since like season like early. Yeah. I catch random episodes here and there. Family Guy, I never watched when it was on TV. And then when it was, and then when it, I used to watch The Simpsons a lot too. Simpsons was probably the last as a kid because Simpsons went all the way up until I stopped watching cartoons. I started watching when I was a child. Yeah. But uh, I would, uh, with Family Guy, when I worked at Blockbuster, I rented it when it was off TV. Because yeah. it wasn't even being made anymore, and I was like, "This is actually really funny." Yeah, and then, show. and then it came back, and it's been super uber mainstream. Is it, is it still showing? Right? I think it is. I think it's yeah. still Family Guy and Simpsons, and mm. it's funny because it was on for three years. They took it off, and then they brought it back, and now it's been it's, on for like yeah. fifteen. It's too big to fail now, man. Yeah. Just like the Simpsons, man. They've yeah. made their money 20, 30, 40 billion times over. Simpsons is on like season 32, man. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's going to be the longest running show. Oh, ever. absolutely. It and is. like South Park, dude, if you don't, they've it's done 23 seasons of South Park. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. And but they he, do them all, and they make each episode almost like weekly or a week. Because, I mean, you had something happen with China. They talk about China the next week. Yep. So it's not like they mass produce them. They like. That's the, yeah, and that's the thing, man. They are very, very up to date, man. They like, never have, like, they have some every episodes, but. Mm. But it's it's almost like yeah it's almost like a podcast in, in a sort of way where like whatever's going on they're gonna talk about it in the show it's not like they do a whole sh season and then like they have to make fun of it next time. I'm sure it was difficult for them initially, but now they've oh, got so much money. Oh, dude, yeah. they, I read something about it. It's like yeah they they like it's like they ship out the episode that's gonna air the following week like five days before it airs or something. They ship it to get like animated or something like it's something crazy and then they turn it around super. Fast. But even beyond that, I'm like thinking of like the writing process that goes into I think that. They still write it. I think it's just I think those guys write the show. Dude, they must do a lot of drugs. <laughs> I mean, you see, I mean, they, the, the years haven't been so kind. To not <laughs> Tony Trey Parker, dude. If you look at, it, I saw a picture of one of them. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. I'm like, I respect y'all, but like, whoo. I'm not going there. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> hey, yo, Matt Trey, hit me up. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just they're, they're, they're good. Nah, you, know, you die on that ledge. Yeah, whatever. Go, yeah, F them, dude. Yeah, say it. <laughs> what would you do to their mom? Um, Jonas, <laughs> I'm just asking for a friend. For a friend. Yeah, dude. Just hypothetically speaking. All right, Jones. How about uh, did you ever watch Rugrats? Did you watch All Grown Up? No. That was the Rugrat spinoff. Oh. That's, I think, about the time that I stopped watching them so intently. Around that time. Rocket I don't Power. I remember all grown up. Yeah, like anything like I post. Do. Anything post Ah Real Monsters. I, was I didn't like, even watch Ah Real Monsters. Yeah, see, I watched cartoons for a long time. I definitely watched The Simpsons for way too long. I definitely watched uh, The Family Guy for way too long. Uh, I even watched every episode of Cleveland Show. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I've dabbled in some of those shows, like Cleveland, American Dad, King mm-hmm. of the Hill. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I've watched some of the more recent stuff. Like, Yo. I will not watch them ever, but I don't. King of the Hill is a sleeper hit, too, man. It is. They don't get the respect it deserves. Yeah, it was a good show, man. <clears throat> but uh, I guess, technically, I still watch cartoons because I watch Naruto. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, you still do. Yeah, it, I need to find a new anime, Dallas. I need to find something new. Like Let One Punch. You, no, Dallas, you wouldn't. I really want you to watch One Punch Man. You would love that. I would one also, Punch Man is amazing. I love women a lot, too. No, just. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Jonas, listen. <laughs> women watch anime, too. <laughs> women do? Yeah. It's funny, Jonas. I uh, I work with this with a, a Filipino young lady, which I'm not too familiar with, like the Philippines or their or their culture. But she she has been teaching me some things. She's okay. taught me some words. I've obviously forgotten them all. Uh, Kamustaka is hello. But uh, she, I noticed that she had a My Hero Academia, which is an, a very popular anime currently, okay. right now in rotation, and she had that on like uh, her lanyard. And I was oh, like, okay. And I picked it up. I was like, really, a My Hero Academia lander? She was like, oh, you know about that? And I was like, I mean, I've heard of it. And then she pulls out a notebook that's My Hero Academia, and then she has a keychain, and we start talking about anime. And then I tell her about Samurai Champloo, and she's like, I'm going to go watch that with my husband. He watches anime, too. Jonas, join the dark side. <laughs> I mean, I like a couple old animes, I guess. What do you watch on TV anymore? You watch mostly comedies. I don't really watch anything. Office, comedy. Here's what I do. I put stuff on in the background. So I'll put Office on a ton because I don't care if I miss it because I've seen it a billion times. But it makes me laugh and it's entertaining. So I do that. I watch <clears throat> so American Horror Story. I like that show. I used to watch Talk Point but I have it in years. Yeah, that's um, a comedy. The Workaholics was pretty funny, which was a comedy. That's a comedy. Uh, yeah, I Shameless like Workaholics. is a comedy. So I guess TV shows, I guess it is comedy. But like movies, I don't like comedies very much. I'll watch like psychological thrillers, dramas, horror movies. I like horror. Yeah. Big horror boy. Um, yeah, I guess that's a good point, John. I don't watch TV so much, but I do put in like uh, something on uh, YouTube, and I generally use that as background music or ground sound. Yeah. I used to do that with ESPN when I had cable. Because yeah. I, I can watch sports shit. Yes. So I could just have Sports Center, NBA, and whatever, you know. That's very true. Yeah. I used to always put uh, basketball games on it. Yeah. And, like, if something interesting, I had DVR. If something interesting happened, right. I'd be like, oh, let me back up right, 10 seconds right. and see and, that dunk. And it was funny because my ex wife hated basketball only because she, like, the sound of the sneakers squeaking all the time. Uh. She would be like, how can you sit here and listen to it be like, squeak, 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 squeak. And I'm like, I don't even notice that. Yeah. I'm watching the game. And she's like, all I hear is the squeaking. And I'm like, all right, cool. I won't put on basketball in the back. I don't care about that's, basketball that much. That's, anyway. that's like just ambient noise, though, to me. Right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, dude. I, I can I can zone things out. Very, very <laughs> Jeez. You know what, Jonas? I still have this, like, inherent love of, of basketball. Dude, I love basketball, too. I'm going to, like, watch it. But then again, I ain't watching basketball, man. Right, dude. Like, I'm good. I love ba- Dude, I love all sports. The problem yeah. is the only one I can still watch is football. Now, if I'm in a group or, it's the, like, I'll watch any sport in a group or playoffs, I'll sometimes watch baseball or basketball playoffs. Mm. But that's really it. And I, I just don't really, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I'd love to go to a game. I'll go to any sports game. Get, going to games is fun. Going to games is fun. But then again, I'm not paying attention Oddly to the enough, I would generally. almost rather watch football on TV than in the stadium. That's the way I used to feel about basketball. Because you can you can pick up on more of, like, what's actually right. happening. When you're there, you can't. Only when I'm there, I'm drunk. So that doesn't help. Jonas, well, I mean, <laughs> truth be told, thumbs up if Jonas Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding, but uh, yeah, that's the way I felt about basketball too. Because I like to like, watch what the players are doing. You can read the plays. Our and team stuff. is just destroying. I've boys. noticed, man. I don't this know is why it's like because that. Because Tom Brady is a Cut. he's a good player in real life and a terrible player on Madden 20. Yeah. Just to show you how realistic it is. I mean, but it is <laughs> TNT Nightmare. Yeah, I know, right? You're out there blowing things away. I'm always blowing things. <laughs> I am, dude. They call me Leaf Blower in <laughs> high call, school. They call me the blow guy. I would just walk up and blow in your earlobe and run. 
<laughs> I would. Wow, dude, that sounds pretty hip. To me. Just, <laughs> just blow a tissue in your face and then just disappear. Oh, Jacky. Oh, no, another touchdown. No. Oh, yeah. my God. Damn it. I don't know. Uh, so we were talking about G.I. Joe, yes. Gargoyles, yeah. which, oh, my God. Mm. Demona, be still my heart. And then <laughs> we talked about the Simpsons family guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. the adult cartoons. Then we got the sports. Oh, yeah. And, and now we're going to talk about your favorite horse, you know, that's boom, Mr. Ed, you lose, you lose. Ooh, ooh. I can make a lot of jokes about him. Ooh, what? Like, like, kind of like biscuit. Did you, did you ever see that Sea Biscuit movie? Uh, no, I worked at Blockbuster, so I have a hatred for it. Oh, because they would advertise it constantly? Well, a lot of the big movies that came out had a Blockbuster, like, I have, like, customer service PTSD, because people are like, what do you mean you have 280 copies and they're all out? I'm like, bro, it came out today, like, everyone in the whole the city wants to uh, 280 copies, you know. Like, <laughs> Joe, yeah, honestly, Jonas, tales from the uh, from the blockbuster video. I, I think they, those go over well, dude. They I do. do. They <laughs> really do. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like hearing tales from blockbuster. Dude, it's funny. You know what's funny is I started a group on MySpace. Yeah. Way when MySpace first started, as mm-hmm. a joke, we, I called it Blockbuster Horse, and it was like, and just like I knew like with the W. Yeah. I knew that there were people that worked at Blockbuster that were on MySpace, and MySpace wasn't known at all. No one was even on it. Yeah. It ended up with like five thousand members. And people would just, and like, and the employees would go in there and just talk about Blockbuster Video, dude. It was crazy. It just, like, all of a sudden, one day, I was like, dude, there's, like, 3,000 people in this group. Yeah. <laughs> it was not, and it was still there when MySpace, like, ended, and now it's, like, all been we should up. We should do a nine-hour stream okay. of just us talking about things that has happened to us at work. Are we getting messed up in this? Are we getting are we, messed are we, are we, are we getting, up? <laughs> Just talked about you wanting to go to AA. And like, hey, dude, are we drinking? Are there gonna the there going to be drinks there? You're going to be some booze? Can I, get a, can I get a vodka IV for this? I mean, uh, like, I mean, I'd do it sober. <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to not drink, but I'd prefer to yeah. drink. Oh, I'm sitting Jonas, angry for nine hours. I need some alcohol. F- listen, my friend, you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to even. That's not a question. That's you're an adult. Like, what am I going to tell you? No, there's no drinking it's for sober the, night. We're going to do a podcast. We're doing it sober. I ain't going to. Who cares? Yeah, <laughs> that's a decision you got to make for yourself. I just want to ruin the product because it's so. <laughs> You're not going to ruin the product. Diminish the brand. How are we going to I'm joking. Yeah, as long as don't you don't say it. anything racist, just like tell people Why who you're going to vote for. I racist things? I don't know. If you get enough drinks how in many, you, you how, might just... How many times, A, have you been drunk with me? Jonas. And B, we've done how many hours of podcasting? All right, Jonas. I, I didn't want to tell you this, but I don't like it when you drink, all right? <laughs> I don't like it when you're drunk. I don't like who you become when you drink, all right? No. So, yeah, I don't care if you drink. If you want to drink, you can. But we the nine-hour stream, we just talk about... I actually saw a streamer do this. His name was Trihex. He's, like, uh, famous or something. He's, like, got a bunch of streamers. And he did a nine-hour stream. We talked about horror stories from uh, GameStop. Okay. I watched <laughs> literally. <laughs> Just like in the background. I think that if we had a stream and we could just play video games and talk, people would be very enthralled by that. I agree. But like when you do it for no one forever, that's the hard part. Well, that's why you just sit there and play the video game until somebody jumps in and then they jump in. You're like, hey, what's up? And then they say, what's up back to you in, in chat? And then you're like, yo, uh, I'm going to start talking to you. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you got to be engaging. Absolutely. And, and yeah, once you get like 10 people in there after you've been streaming for uh, half a year, then you start, <laughs> <laughs> then, well, you, then you start you engaging all of them. That the expectations are low, even from Twitch, because you become a sponsored Twitch streamer when you average three mm. people per stream. Exactly. <laughs> three. Yeah. Three people watching you average yes. is yeah. like yeah. it's insane a low, how low that number is. Yeah. And that's the meat. That's probably like the low Yo. end. You know what I mean? Woo. Yo, it's, and, and, and the thing is, it's, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but it's basically a pyramid scheme. <laughs> 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 it really is. You become unpaid labor. I mean, sure, you get to work from home. Right, you, but you're not making money anyway. So yeah, yeah it's like, work. hey, look, hey, look, you get to work from home. 
we're not going to pay you. But if you can get enough people to start watching you, we'll pay you a little bit. Right. But we're going to run ads on everything you do for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not you become, you get millions of people to watch you, or none. <laughs> wow, sounds like a bad deal. <laughs> right? Yeah, dude. But you get to work from home. That game. That's twenty. That's better than last game. Yeah, so your seven hundred fifty-one passing yards. Yeah, Tom Brady, eat my seventy points to your face. Wow. I'm gonna put seventy points in your wife tonight. <laughs> what? Seven hundred. Oh, you had ten touchdowns in this game. It's my famous seventy-point chili. Five yards and ten touchdowns. I think that is a new NFL record, my friend. I mean, sure. I'm pretty sure we broke that last year at some point. Yeah, dude, it's cool, man. We're gonna we're gonna see. This is gonna be the the super flex. We're going to see. We already broke lots of records. We're going to break them again. Mm, break it. Then after this season, I don't know what the heck we'll do. Uh, we can make the we can make the Jonamite the season. The Jonamites? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can put you in the I game. I could be like a running back or something. That wouldn't be as fun to watch. I wouldn't have to You'd have to be a, a passer, a wide receiver. Or I'd, you'd no, be I'd, a be a, I'd be a quarterback because if not, right. you don't get to pick the plays or anything. It's just like sick. What is he saying, Jonas? He said, I left it all out there on the field, man, and I think you did too. Either way, congratulations on the win. Losing has always been a humbling experience for me. I've got to keep working and keep getting better. Oh, and good, you got a thousand experience for that. Good guy, Tom. Demure, even in a loss. Oh, what a good man. What a staple of society. I'm Thomas dude, Brady. Whatever. F Tom Brady. I, know, dude, <laughs> I mean, I like the Patriots. I'm still like, whatever. He's a good quarterback. He really is. So. Yeah, he's one of the best ever. I get it. Yeah. I mean, fine. And the longer he plays, it's harder for people not to be like he is the best ever. Period. Oh, it's locked. Thank you. Put that in the scrambler right now, You're sir. Get all fast. I want. In fact, from now on, scramblers are new. Break sack in a plus four. That's why I'm upgrading it, man. All right. Cool, we get the Jets this week. I want you to scramble, Mom. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you like what you've seen today. Share the video with your friends if you want to bring more people to the channel because we sure as heck need them. <laughs> we're <Wow>. losers. <laughs> just, just get the... <laughs> <laughs> I made it so... I mean, Jesus, <laughs> it, man. It was no, so... It was, it was like, so natural, right? It, right? And I was just like, <laughs> we're, we're losers. losers. <laughs> anyway, for yourself, motherfudger. Uh, I'm just kidding. We're <laughs> not losers. We're super cool. But uh, anyways, for Jonas... And that doesn't look anything like me, Dynamite. <laughs> we are out.